Homelessness is up for the first time since 2010 in the United States. But a real huge reason for that is because of the spike in California, which rose 13 percent more uh, as the national average was up at less than 1 percent. You're looking right now at Skid Row. That's a section in Los Angeles, and that's on Christmas Day. An estimated 20,000 people living on the streets there. Of course, it's a combination of things, high rent, low wages, uh, a high tax state, a lot of things forcing these people out of homes they can no longer afford. Back with us now to discuss Capri Caparo and, and Gina Loudon. And, you know, ladies, I just want to let the audience know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, California, the, the, the homelessness surged almost 14%. Mm -hmm. uh, an ex extra 16,000 people this year, where in America overall there was an extra 3,000. So that one state alone where you have Silicon Valley, you have Hollywood, you have right. the most expensive homes in the country, perhaps the world. Mm -hmm. Capri, why is this happening? Uh, well, you just mentioned something, Charles, which is very important, and that is those soaring house housing costs. I'm, I'm not as familiar with, uh, you know, the demographics in Los Angeles County, as you referenced with Skid Row, but I am familiar uh, with the Silicon Valley, having uh, gone to college at Stanford, and I know, you know, a number of people, even that are, you know, have good jobs, are getting priced out of the market, um, you know, and have to continue to move, move, and move, and move, and move. So, you know, if you're an entrepreneur, uh, you know, and or, you know, you have, uh, you're, you know, you're unemployed, you know, you're you are really up against a very difficult fight. The other thing that I would say is this, is that all in all, uh, you know, homelessness not only is, uh, you know, uh, high uh, cost of housing is a contributing factor, but we also have to think about mental health issues sure. and, uh, you know, issues of uh, substance abuse. They are significant contributing factors to homelessness, and uh, those things need to be addressed as well. There's absolutely no doubt about that. I agree a thousand percent, but the distinction that California is spiking so much, Gina, where You've had forced higher minimum wage, but you also pay the highest prices for gasoline. I mean, this mm -hmm. is a state that's among the top three in income inequality in this country. And, you know, and, and, and you, you have to wonder perhaps if they're doing something wrong that disadvantages the lower echelon of their economics, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, economic earners. I mean, you lived in the state for a very long time. Yeah, it's heartbreaking to me because I did live in California and I loved it. And as you know, um, I loved living there because just the beauty of the land, Charles, mm -hmm. and the people are great there. But the government is an experiment in socialism. So for those who like socialism in America, look at what's happening in California, mm -hmm. and that is what you will get. I watched, Charles, while I lived there, a beautiful bike trail turn into an absolute skid row that was absolutely unrideable anymore, and that was in San Diego. I've watched our beaches decline, sewage coming over from Mexico, the government there doing nothing about it. The governor himself is very corrupt mm -hmm. and drove my family out of that state, and we re relocated to Florida. California is the most impossible place in the entire country, <laughs> Charles, to accumulate sure. wealth. You will not yep. gain status economically if you live in that state. And it's, it's depressing right. and sad, and I hate to see it. Capri? Char Charles, can I just add one thing that I think maybe a lot of folks don't know about the state of California, and it really is run on the issue of referendum. Um, so, you know, in some way, shape, or form, uh, the state government in particular, and, and to some extent the local uh, governments as well and the political subdivisions, have essentially abdicated their role in governing and have shoved it onto the people. What does this mean? It means that you are voting on the ballot for these huge initiatives, basically passing laws on your own, and what and that creates this piecemeal, you know, uh, tapestry of, of law laws that really have not had the opportunity to be, you know, vetted and litigated, um, you know, through the traditional legislative process. And California is unique in this, that these propositions uh, that they call them, that they put on the ballot, uh, you know, you have dozens but, of but them. But Capri, so many of those propositions are based on the notion of social justice or, or rebalancing yes. the right and wrongs of capitalism. Mm -hmm. And it seems like they always backfire. Well, look, I mean, it's a lot of these things sound good. Many things sound good on their face, um, but you really have to dig deep and, and have the opportunity. And that's why the legislative process is so important, because you have the opportunity for hearings. You have the opportunity to gather information. And while people may be voting with their heart, if they had better information yeah. and if maybe the folks in the California State Assembly did their job, they wouldn't be shoving so much of it off to the America, to the uh, average person in California right. that actually has a well, job of their own. <laughs> I will say uh, in a single night in January, 553,742 Americans experienced homelessness. Mm. The good news is it's gone down in most states. The bad news is the richest state in the country has mm. an epidemic. Ladies, thank you both very much. Unexcusable.